Hey guys, Book5090 here, coming to you with another action figure review. This time we're looking at the Toys R Us exclusive Yellow Ranger from the new Power Rangers movie. This is from the Build a Megazord Legacy Collection. As you can see, this is a Toys R Us exclusive only. So I had to order this bad boy online, or bad girl in this case. But yeah, you can see it shows the picture of the Yellow Ranger looking right there. She's the saber tooth Taiga. It says Power Rangers, Saban's Power Rangers. It says right here. Legacy Collection Yellow Ranger. It's got the Yellow Ranger there with that piece of the Megazord. Over here on the top just says Power Rangers. Over here on the back, we got a display piece right there of all the Rangers and Alpha 5. And you can collect them all and make the big Megazord. Still debating whether to make the Megazord or not. Not really interested in that small little piece. But yeah, let's open her up and see how cool Trini actually is. So here we have the Yellow Ranger opened up and out of her packaging. This is Trini, Sabertooth Tiger. Again, I don't really see it in the helmet anyway. I don't really see it. I mean, if the silver is supposed to be like, you know, teeth or something, I don't know. I don't. I don't really see it. Maybe these parts are like the teeth, and the silver is the eyes of the of the tiger. I don't know. I'm not really. I'm not really seeing it guys. But yeah, she is a little bit more scrawny than the other guys because she is a woman figure and she's got the woman parts to show for it as well. So yeah. Uh slight problem with the posing of this figure, as I mentioned, because she is hard to get her to stand. Even if it is on this little R2 D2 Star Wars thing. Okay. On plain surfaces, it is easier to get her to stand. Then again, not really, kind of, sort of. So yeah, but she has same center articulation as the other male Power Rangers. Uh, but again, like I said, she does have terrible stance. Yeah, the most I could get her in is like a weird kicking stance. Her joints are... I think a little bit more loose than the the Black Rangers because I do notice that she has a lot more mobility and accessibility to her motions and this back piece keeps going like that it's really tough every time I try to pose her she just leans back but yeah very good figure I mean checking out the details on her she looks really nice you can see the blue and the little chest piece there and the silver of the armor looks very nice. She's got the mouthpiece and everything looking cool. Again, the silver, I don't know if that's the eyes of the saber tooth tiger or not, but yeah, look at that profile on the back. She's also got the little blue diamonds going around the back. She's got that booty. Uh, although Tr Trini in this new movie uh, iteration, she did seem a bit shorter than Kimberly so I don't know how that works how um, the yellow and the pink range are both the same height because I do recall in the movie the actor who portrayed Trini was actually shorter than Kimberly but yeah I mean what can you do right alright so yeah that's pretty much it for this review guys I mean you know that she has the standard articulation as the other ones do and if so more um, she's a little bit more flexible like I said I don't know if that has to do with her being a female figure or not but her joints well aside from this one the arm was a little like loose kind of the legs are very loosey-goosey but again she stands pretty nicely when on soft surfaces I couldn't get her to stand like the other rangers on the little stand I had for her. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos coming soon. And thanks for watching, as always.